the famous poison that quickly makes Africans widows or widowers and children orphans. It also reduces brain capacity as the Maggie Cube. My name is Ijal Mensa Gota and this is Good Living Ghana. It was created in 1886 by the Swiss Julius Maggie for poor workers who had difficult social situations and who did not eat properly because meat and fish were very expensive. In order to provide the synthetic taste of meat and fish to these poor Europeans, Julius Maggi imposed the Maggi cube with its famous red and yellow colors on the packaging. In 1884, after the Berlin Conference, colonizers were encouraged to export large numbers of this popular poison to their colonies, which were mostly in Africa. Businessman Julius Maggi thought that if there were people who could not buy meat or fish in Europe, it would be worse in Africa. So he exported and ingeniously launched his advertising with the yellow and red colors that competed with the red and white colors of another poisonous product, the sugar-laden Coca-Cola brand at the time. He succeeded because Maggi Q products can be kept longer at higher temperatures and with the possibility of giving synthetic meat or fish taste whenever used. As early as 1910 and to this day, Africans began and continue to put it in every dish, even when grinding pepper, pies, and other flour products. More than a hundred million cubes are sold every day throughout Africa to such an extent that, to avoid import problems, the Swiss have created 11 factories on the continent despite the public health risk. Maggi consists of over 40% salt, mostly the highly poisonous monosodium glutamate. Consuming the Maggi cube every cooking day is akin to increasing cardiovascular-related diseases, which brings on erectile dysfunction, hypertension, diabetes, heart attacks, especially cerebrovascular attack, popularly called stroke. Sneakily and unmistakably, the Maggi cube is one of the primary causes of stroke in Africa, and yet, we continue to consume it. Like smoking and alcohol, it is very addictive. There are millions of homes that cannot do without its taste, the killer taste. So let's reduce the use of this and resort to our local spices. Kindly take note of this and if possible, share with family and friends to save them.